Barbara, thank you very much for sharing your insights uh, with us today at the Academy of Global Governance and talking about climate governance issues and, and institutions. One of the subjects that kept coming up during your discussion was the difference between top-down structures and bottom-up uh, structures. And of course, today the trend is to see things as becoming more bottom-up. Uh, but is there a role for top-down? And what is that role? Mm. Well, first of all, thank you very much, Danny, and uh, to the UI for having me here. I'm very happy to be here and very much enjoy all the discussions here. And I do think we had a very good discussion today, including on the subject you just raised. And I think we need to put it a little bit into context, so we need to understand this top-down regime that has emerged as the main kind of approach in climate governance um, has actually started uh, in 92 in the context of the United Nations Framework Convention that was signed in Rio. And so we need to understand whether it's still fit for purpose or whether we need to take into account the shifts in, you know, like political shifts, but also latest science that have happened and, and the actual action on the ground. So I do think that what map has become really important because it does show us actually that lots of action is going on on the ground. At the same time, we are dealing with a collective commons. We are dealing with the public good here. With, uh, and we have to look for a solution that actually fosters an effective coordination between all countries and doing that on a dimension that is like previously unknown. So I do think in order to get us to an effective solution, we need to have a combination both of top-down and of bottom-up. So really having action in the ground, but at the same time having a common vision between kind of countries to ensure that we are actually dealing with climate change in a way that is most effective and gets us towards avoiding dangerous climate change. Good. This is your second year you've been with us uh, for the uh, Climate Governance Seminar, for which I'm very thankful. Uh, but I'm wondering what, uh, I wanted to ask you what you thought of the participation of the, of the attendees and what recommendations you might have for us in terms of how we conduct uh, future seminars. Mm -hmm. Well, I did enjoy the discussions very much. Uh, and I do think well, last year and this year we had actually lots of internal debates and, and very good contribution from all the participants. I do think that given the, the subjects uh, we're dealing with, it, I would encourage uh, also to reach out to some uh, participants from some organizations that are very closely linked to the overall climate governance uh, institutions, uh, like the UN organizations or different organizations that are actually actively working on some of the design elements of some of the emerging uh, like new governance uh, structure that is actually being negotiated just at the moment. So I do think broadening the participants to some of these uh, institutions would be very welcome. Okay. Thank you very much again for being with us. And Thank you very much. Good luck. Thank you.